वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटिम प्रभ निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिनी विद्यारंभम क्या सिद्धिर्भव मे सदा गुरव सर्वोका दिशे भविद्या दक्षिणामूर्त नम ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम नारायण पद्मुव वशिष्ठ शक्ति तत्पुत्रपराशर व्यास शुक गौड़पद महा गोविंद योगींद्रमथा शिष्य श्रीशंकराचार्य मथा पद्म पाद हस्तामलक शिष्य तम तोटक वार्तिकस्मदुरून सततमस्मी सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर साक्षात्त दयानंद परमास्वूपिण तत्वान प्रशास्ता प्रणतस्म पर सहना सहनौ भुनक् सह वीकवा तेजस्वीतमस्तमाषा ओ शाशा सूत्रार्थो वर्ण्यते यत्र सूत्रार्थो वर्ण्यते यत्र वाक्यै सूत्रानुकारी विधि वाक्यै सूत्रानुकारी सूत्रानुकारी विधि स्वपदानि च वर्ण्यन्ते भाष्य भाष्य विदो विदु द्वितीय मंडक द्वितीय खंड लास्ट मंत्र ट्वेल्थ मंत्र संगति यज्योतिषा यत ज्योतिषा ज्योति 
ज्योतिषम ज्योति ब्रह्म तदेव सत्यम ब्रह्म ब्रह्म वाचारंभनम विकारो नाम धेयमात्र प्रतिपाद उपसंहरति ब्रह्मस्ता ब्रह्म पश्चात ब्रह्म दक्षिणतोत्तरेण अदश्चोर्धम च प्रसृत ब्रह्म विश्वद वरिष्ठ दिस इज दि उपसंहार मंत्र इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल मंत्र ब्यूटिफुल कंक्लूशन the vision of the entire shastram is presented brahma satyam brahma is satyam it is amritam nityam and where is this brahma where is this brahma is bhagavan ishvara where is bhagavan there is no question of where bhagavan is located where bhagavan is not that should be the counter question where is ishvara where is not ishvara it means ishvara is everywhere ishvara doesn't have any particular location particular location implies parichinnatva अपूर्णत्व अनित्यत्व अनृत सो दर् फोर ईश्वरा इज ईश्वर डसेंट हव एनी पर्टिक्युलर लोकेशन देन वेर इन दिस जगत इज लोकेटेड द होल जगत इज इनसेल द होल जगत is not different from ishvara jagat is karyam brahma is karanam karya brahma jagat karana brahma ishvara karyam cannot exist apart from karanam this karya for which ti कारणम बोध कारण उपादान एस वेल एस निमित्त कारण ईश्वर लोन यथो नृजते गृणते यथा पृथिव्या ओषधय संभवती यथा सत पुषा केशलो मानी 
ಸಹಸ್ರಶಪ್ರಭವಂತೆ ಜಗತ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿವಿಧ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೈರ್ ದ ಸ್ಪಾರ್ಕ್ ದ ಸ್ಪಾರ್ಕ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಟು ದ ಫೈರ್ ದ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಫೈರ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಗ್ಲೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ condition by its upadhi but spark is also fire and the original fire also is fire only therefore abhinna therefore this karya jagat karana brahmana na bhinna abhinna therefore we don't have to look for where bhagavan is the moment you open your eyes the moment you operate your sense organ any perception takes place that is bhagavan you cannot keep yourself away from bhagavan at no point of time you are different from bhagavan you are not alienated from bhagavan therefore therefore everything is bhagavan that is what the darshan that is a vision sarvatra ಈಶ್ವರ ದರ್ಶನ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ವಿಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ವಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ದರ್ಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ವಂ ಖಲು ಇದಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಸರ್ವಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಖಲು ಇದಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಸರ್ವಂ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಜೀವ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಸರ್ವಂ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ it includes the one who says also the one who says also otherwise sarvam is becomes limited when you exclude yourself from sarvam then the sarvam becomes limited ishwara becomes limited therefore sarvam includes you also so when you say sarvam which is inclusive of you therefore you cannot be different from brahma you cannot be away from brahma and therefore you are brahma that is what is un- being unfolded in all the upanishads isha vasyam idam sarvam etkinch jagatyam jagat idam sarvam referring to this jagat isha vasyam but ishvara drishtya aachadaniyam should be covered should be covered by your ishvara drishti so therefore anything you see anything you touch it is it is bhagavan alone it is ishvara alone therefore only in gita bhagavan krishna says yomam pashyati sarvatra sarvatra sarvam cha mai pashyati yaha mam pashyati sarvatra ಸರ್ವಂ ಚ ಮಯಿ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ತಸ್ಯಾಹಂ ನ ಪ್ರಣಶ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸ ಚ ಮೇ ನ ಪ್ರಣಶ್ಯತಿ ಈಸ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಭಕ್ತ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಪರಿಶ್ಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದರ್ಶನ ಇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೀ ಎವ್ರಿವೇರ್ ಮೀ ಈಸ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದರ್ಶನ ಸರ್ವೂತಸ್ತಮಾತ್ಮನ ಸರ್ವೂತಿ ಚಾತ್ಪನಿ ಈಕ್ಷತೆ ಯೋಗಯುಕ್ತಾತ್ಮ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಸಮದರ್ಶನ ಸಮದರ್ಶನ ಇಸ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾವಿನಯ ಸಂಪನೆ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣೆ ಗವಿ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಶುನಿಶ್ಚೈವ ಶುಪಾಕೇತ ಪಂಡಿತ ಸಮದರ್ಶಿನ 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 ದ ಸಮ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಮ 
Nirdosham hi samam brahma, that brahma which is samam, that is brahma which is nirdosha, free from dosha, it is sama, it is same, it is brahma alone, it is same everywhere, the same brahma. Therefore, therefore, what is there is only brahma. Mayatatam idam sarvam jagadam vyaktam utina. Matstani sarva bhutani achakam teshu vastitha. Therefore, through all this, this shloka and the, the Upanishad mantra, they unfold the vision that it is only Bhagavan is, there is nothing other than Bhagavan. And that is beautifully unfolded in the, the Rudram. Rudram, what we chant. That is Sarvatma Bhava. There everything is, is to everything you do namaskara. Everything deserves worship. Megya gacha vidyutya gacha mega clouds vidyut. And namaskara to the green leaves, dry leaves, shushkya gacha haritya gacha, namo lopya gacha, lapya gacha. So nothing is excluded. Everything is Bhagavan. So therefore, the Vriksha, which is which has green leaves, is Bhagavan. Green leaves, Bhagavan. And dry leaves, Bhagavan. And the robber is Bhagavan. The stealer is Bhagavan. Taskaraya, Taskara. Stena is Bhagavan. Therefore, what is there is only Bhagavan alone. Therefore, we don't worship. We don't worship the Bhagavan who is located in a place, he is everywhere. That is the vision. When he is everywhere, he can be invoked in anything. He can be invoked in Shivalinga, or he can be invoked in a Shalagrama, or he can be invoked in a living person. He can be invoked very well in a living person. The Chaitanya, the Chaitanya was too. So, and that is what is here, the mantra presence that in all the directions, in all the directions which you see, it is only Bhagavan. In front, back, right side, left side, and all the intermittent directions. Above, Urdham, Cha, Adascha, everywhere is Bhagavan. Everywhere is Brahma. Brahma meaning it is big, which doesn't have any adjective. Big. The bigness is the really, this is a big. The bigness, the big doesn't have any substantive. The big is an adjective. Big means adjective. Big house, big car, big mosquito. Big is adjective. But here, the big is not an adjective, it's a very substantive. That is Brahma. That without that that is without being an adjective, that that word, which is a substantive, which is a Vishesha, and therefore it is, it denotes everything. Everything is covered. That is why Ishava Sim Idam Sarva. Achadaniya. Everything should be covered means, how, how do you cover everything? By your vision, by your drishti. So previously you have abrahma drishti. Now after jnanam, abrahma drishti. When you have brahma drishti, then you cannot exclude anything. So therefore, you cannot exclude anything as unpleasant or dirty, ugly. Even that is brahma. Gutter water is Brahma, Ganga water also is, is Brahma. As water is Brahma, whether it is Ganga water or gutter water, it is Brahma. Whether it is Yogi or Rogi, Brahma. Bogi also Brahma. Dharma, Adharma. Adharma also, also in keeping with the order. That is also Brahma. Adharma, when we say Adharma, that also cannot be outside Bhagavan. 
Suppose it is also well within the order only. The adharma of a person, the action, adharma, adharmika action of a person also is keeping with an order. That is also keeping with the order. Bhagavan alone. Therefore, it is Brahma Eva. Therefore, idam, idam, Brahma Eva idam amrutam purastad. Purastad is a grey in front. The object, whatever it is there in front. This Drishya Prapancha. This Drishya Prapancha, this Drishya Jagat is apa, is not different from the Drik, the seer. Therefore, the seer, the seen, and the seeing, everything resolves into this Brahma. The Drishya is Brahma, Drik is also Brahma. Then where is seeing? It means you see yourself as you see your reflection in the mirror. Similarly, when you open your eyes, what you see is yourself, it is Brahma. Therefore, Purastat, Agre, Agre Brahma, Purastat, and that Brahma is Amritam. It is Namritam, not bound by time. So, Purastat, Brahma, Paschadapi, Brahma Yeva, Brahma is behind also. When you see Brahma, then you don't have to turn back and see what is there behind you. That is also Brahma. Brahma is in the Shastram to give a Drishtanta compared to Akasha. Akasha also is limited. Akasha also is a Karya. It's a product. Akasha Syapi Sukshmaha. Akasha Syapi Karna Brahma. So, Akasha is all pervading. It is there right in front and back also. So, is Brahma Akasha? No. Akasha Syapi Karana Brahma. Therefore, Paschat, behind you, it is also Brahma. Behind you, the objects which are behind you, and the Akasha which is behind you, and the Karnam of that also, Karnam of that, it is Brahma. With the eyes open, without the eyes open. It is Brahma alone. So, Drishya is Brahma. Even when you don't see, close your eyes, it is Brahma alone. So, it is not that Brahma is, is perceived in front, perceived as back, even without any perception. In Sushupti, Avastha, and all. So, it is it is Brahma, all the way it is Brahma alone. Therefore, only Avastha Treya Sakshi. It is from Avastha Treya Titaha, Gonatreya Titaha. It is Atitaha, Atita Brahma. Brahma Dakshinataha, Dakshinataha on the right side, Dakshinataha Tasal Prataya, Dakshinataha, then Uttarena, as well as on the left side, Uttara. Adaha, Adascha, Uddamcha, Prasaratam, it is Prasaratam, Akashavat, Akasha is the closest example, Prasaratam, Akashavat, Sarvavyapi, that is the idea, Sarvavyapi, all pervading, all, for all pervasiveness we give the example Akasha, so Akashavat, but Akasha is not Brahma, the Akasha, though it is not available for our Akasha, even, even the Akasha, the, the, the element, it's not available for perception, but we have to acknowledge Akasha because objects are accommodated in the space only. Without space, there cannot be the there cannot be objects, objects cannot be accommodated. And that Akasha which accommodates all the objects. The entire jagat, that that itself is not perceivable, not perceivable to the senses. Then what to talk about Brahma? So, therefore, Brahma is in the form of in the form of Namarupa jagat. It manifests, and it is not perceivable. Means it has to be the very subject. It is you, the Atma. 
therefore it is all pervading it is everything prasrutam sarvam ityartaha so brahma eva idam vishvam this vishvam this vishvam this entire universe is brahma and that is varishtam varishtatamam varenyam should be chosen to know one should choose to know to understand the truth that involves ishvara anugraha and of course one's free will both prarthana and prayatra varishtam varenyam should be chosen to this we saw now we will read the devashyam brahma eva अग्रे अविद्यादृष्टि सो इदम इदम इस इदम इमे इमानी इदम शब्द इदम मींस दिस इट मींस दिस दृश्यम दृष्टि गोचरम what is available for your perception this jagat vishwam idam this what you can objectify as this that is this this jagat or any object which is available so idam covers the entire jagat idam prastha the entire world right in front of you idam brahma it is brahma idam brahma this is brahma so idam meaning the jagat so the same idam will use for paschat dakshinatah uttarana now let us take for purastha that is in front agre idam prathama vibhakti ekavachana jagat is is napumsaka linga therefore idam jagat idam means this jagat atma vibhakti ek vachana napumsaka linga and brahma that is also brahma is a word napumsaka linga but brahma is a linga doesn't have any linga bhagwan doesn't have any linga he is all the lingas so brahma is also atma vibhakti ek vachana so this is brahma idam brahma eva idam jagat brahma eva so both the words idam and brahma have same vibhakti same vachanam prathama vibhakti ek vachanam so when the two words when two words have same vibhakti same vachanam two words have same vibhakti same vachanam samana vibhakti kana when two words have the same vibhakti same vachanam then what does it what does it convey vibhakti samana vibhakti same vibhakti and same vachanam so therefore samana adikaranyam it is called samana adikaranyam samana adikaranyam is we know what is samana adikaranyam thing samana adikaranyam and sup samana adikaranyam similarly here we have two words of two words having the same vibhakti therefore there is a samana adikaranyam so samana vibhakti ka naam samana vibhakti ka naam ekasmin vishaye 
एकस्मिन विषय तात्पर्य वेन टू वर्ड्स आर द सेम विभक्ति एंड दफो द टू वर्ड्स मस्ट बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेम थिंग दे कैनॉट बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ डिफरेंट थिंग दे शुड दे मस्ट बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेम थिंग समान अधिकरण देव अधिकरण देव the adhikaranam is locus here they have the vishaya they have the vishaya the same vishaya they should deal with the same vishaya they will be talking about the same vishaya dealing with the same vishaya samana adhikaranya so this jagat is equated to brahma it means this jagat is brahma that is a samana adhikaranya what samana adhikaranya is this jagat brahma jagat is brahma is the brahm this jagat this brahma is this jagat there is no brahma other than this jagat in fact this jagat is only a partial manifestation as bhagwan krishna says in the gita mamai vamsho jeeva bu this 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 the the 10th chapter of the gita he has said that this jagat is one thing but a partial manifestation even in purusha suktam atyatishta dashangulam it's only a partial manifestation this jagat is brahma this is vyakta prapancha this jagat is brahma but this this other than jagat this avyakta both vyakta avyakta everything is brahma this jagat is only a partial manifestation it's only a partial manifestation of that brahma so you cannot limit brahma just by this jagat this jagat is also brahma this jagat is also brahma if jagat alone is brahma then uh, you are limiting brahma by jagat so therefore this since jagat is is available for our our available for our drishti therefore by saying this this jagat this karyam jagat this karya brahma is because of karanam therefore it is karanam alone as manifested in this form of this karya prapancha therefore it is abhinnaha iti that to convey that vision only this said idam jagat idam jagat brahma therefore this jagat is equated to brahma but brahma is still greater than the jagat that is understood that should be understood anyway though here there is samana adhikaranyam both are of the same vibhakti samana vibhakti samana vachanam therefore ekasmin vishaye tasya tatparya asti what type of samana adhikaranyam there are four types of samana adhikaranyam there are four types of samana adhikaranyam in the grammar we saw think samana adhikaranyam sub samana adhikaranyam here what type of samana adhikaranyam here it is there before that let us see what are the types of samana adhikaranyam In the Vedanta Sara Visa, I am Sarpa Raju. This Sarpa, the snake, is the rope. A Sarpa Bhuta I am Raju Aropa Ha Adhya Aropa Ha Iti Visa. So this, this snake, or this snake, this rope is a snake. I am Raju Ho Sarpa Ha. I am Raju Ho Sarpa Ha. How can this Raju? this rope be a snake either it must be a rope or it must be a snake but on the rope on the raju you superimpose the drishti the wrong drishti snake so you have got snake darshanam sarpa darshanam on the rope therefore i am raju who this rope is sarpa ha iti Raju and Sarpa, both are 
equator, seemingly equator. This is there in this Lavakya. Ayam Sarpaha Rajuhu. Rajuhu and Sarpa both are in the same Vibhakti. Both are in the same Vibhakti. But here, the Samanadi Karnam is Adhyasa Samanadi Karnam. Adhyaropa Samanadi Karnam, otherwise it is called Adhyasa. Adhyaropa is Adhyasa. Superimposition. So you superimpose the snake on the Sarpa. Therefore, I am Sarpaha is your previous drishti before jnanam ajnana avasthayam ayam sarpaha jnana avasthayam ayam rajuhu therefore ayam rajuhu sarpaha this rope is the snake so the rope and the snake are equated therefore they have samanadi karanyam both have where, where, it, where the snake is located? The snake is located very well where the rope is. The locus of the rope is the locus of the snake. Snake, you didn't see any somewhere else. Not in any other place other than the rope. You see this very snake on the rope. Therefore, samana adhikaranam. Adhikaranam, it has the same locus. Therefore, this is this type of vakya. It's called Adhyasa Samana Adhikaranyam. Adhyasa Samana Adhikaranyam. And we have another Samana Adhikaranyam. Visheshana Samana Adhikaranyam. Like, we say, Neela Utpalam. Neela Utpalam. The Blue Lotus. This is a blue lotus. So the lotus, this is a blue lily, not lotus. Utpalam is lily. This is a blue lily. Lily is qualified by the adjective blue, Visheshana. So the Vishesha is lily, which is qualified by the blue. So this is a blue lily. So Visheshana, Visheshya. They have same vibhakti, same vachanam. Of course, it has, has, it has to be same vachanam. That, therefore, there is a samanadi karanyam between the two words. Same vibhakti. And where the blue is, blue does, the adjective is located, is located very well in the, the lily. You don't see blue somewhere and uh, lily on, soup and, on, and lily somewhere. You see the blue, blueness, the blue color, on the same lily. So here, therefore, when the two words have the samanda as visheshana visheshya, and when they are in same vibhakti, same vachanam, it's called visheshana samanadi karanyam. So visheshana samanadi karanyam. Visheshana as the same locus as that of the visheshya. The adjective the qualifier has the same locus as that of the qualified substantive. Visheshana samanadi karanyam. This is second type. So first one is adhyasa samanadi karanyam. Second type, visheshana samanadi karanyam. Third one is soyam devadattaha. He is that devadatta. The Devadatta, the person whom you saw 25 years before, when he was a boy, Balakaha. That time he didn't have a beard or a moustache. Now he is a grown-up man, grown-up person. Now he has, a, he has a beard and he has moustache. By seeing him, you recognize him as that person, Devadatta. But Dev, that Devadatta, it, it that is Namarupa, that person with the particular features, attributes, that Devadatta is, is different from this Devadatta, of course, in terms of its features, physical features, attributes, it's entirely different. But you are equating. Saha, I am Devadatta. Saha is, it is not Pratyaksha, it is 
ಅಪರ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪರೋಕ್ಷ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪರೋಕ್ಷ ಇನ್ ಪರೋಕ್ಷ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಇನ್ ಪರೋಕ್ಷ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಹ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸಹ ವೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಹ ಸಹ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೊಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ನಿಯರ್ ನಿಯರ್ ಯು ನೌ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ತಮಾನ ಸಹ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಭೂತೆ ಇನ್ ಭೂತೆ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ನೌ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ತಮಾನ ದ ಭೂತ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಪರೋಕ್ಷ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಸಹ ಸಹ ಅಯಂ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನೌ ವರ್ತಮಾನ ವರ್ತಮಾನ ಕಾಲೆ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ದೇವದತ್ತ ಯು ಆರ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಡು ಯು ಈಕ್ವೇಟ್ ವೆನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ಲಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ಇವನ್ ತೋ ದಿ ನಾಮ ರೂಪ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನಾಮ ರೂಪ ನಾಮ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದೇವದತ್ತ ಓನ್ಲಿ ರೂಪ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರೋನ್ ದ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ನಾಮ ದೇವದತ್ತ ಓನ್ಲಿ and you know that person is devadatta in spite of the in spite of the complete change of the in spite of the complete change of the person but still you recognize him as devadatta so what makes you see this this devadatta this person is devadatta his features may change but the person what the person is the core person doesn't change is the same person so therefore we use soyam devadattaha therefore there is a saha and ayam saha that paroksha devadatta and this ayam this pratyaksha devadatta both are both 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 you have done what you have done both is you have equated you have by your drishti by your understanding you have made them one they are not different they are they are made one therefore aikyam aikya samanaadi karanyam so soyam devadattaha the word saha and ayam same vibhakti same vachanam where is saha is located saha saha referring to that person adikaranam is devadatta i am also referring to this devadatta alone therefore ಸಹ ಅಯಂ ದೇವದತ್ತ ಇಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸಹ ಅನ್ ಅಯಂ ದಿ ಫೈನಲಿ ದಿ ಕಲ್ಮಿನೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ದೇವದತ್ತ ಲೋನ್ ಸಫೋರ್ ಸಹ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಯಂ ದೇವದತ್ತ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಐಕ್ಯ ಸಾಮಾನಾಧಿಕರಣ್ಯಂ ಐಕ್ಯ ಸಾಮಾನಾಧಿಕರಣ್ಯಂ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೊ ಅಧ್ಯಾಸ ಸಾಮಾನಾಧಿಕರಣ್ಯಂ ವಿಶೇಷನ ಸಮ ವಿಶೇಷನ ವಿಶೇಷ ಸಾಮಾನಾಧಿಕರಣ್ಯಂ ದೆನ್ ಐಕ್ಯ ಸಾಮಾನಾಧಿಕರಣ್ಯಂ ಅಂಡ್ ನೌ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಅನದರ್ ಸಾಮಾನಾಧಿಕರಣ್ಯಂ ಯರ್ ಇದಂ ಜಗತ್ ಇದಂ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಗೋಚರಂ ದೃಶ್ಯಂ ದಿಸ್ ದೃಶ್ಯಂ ದಿಸ್ ಜಗತ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದಿಸ್ ಜಗತ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ this jagat is brahma when we say this jagat it is it is consists of so many things varieties of things vidam bhavati it is consists of so many objects so many ch- things chara achara chara 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 charatmaka prapancha this jagat and this jagat undergoes changes it undergoes change all the time at no time it is same it is subject to time it is subject to time therefore it is subject to continuous flux continuous changes so vikara is normal it is vikaritvam it is sabhayavatvam it is it has got sapekshatvam and therefore it is it has got parichinnatvam so all the all this limitedness all these features are there for this idam jagat but brahma is doesn't have any of this brahma is avikari jagat is avikari brahma is avikari brahma is amritam this jagat is mritam 
this jagat has got shad bhavah comes and goes agama paginah the jagat brahma is it doesn't have any change it is it is it is nirgunam it is it is nirvikari and the, this jagat is has got sapekshatvam it has dependency on brahma brahma is nirapeksha it doesn't have dependency it is independent the idam jagat you are equating this idam jagat idam jagat brahma then this limited jagat is brahma means the brahma becomes limited this is what the shastram says this jagat is brahma this jagat is limited father we don't need any pramana our pratyaksha anubhava itself is sufficient we know this jagat which is subject to continuous changes changes flux so it is it is brahma when we say therefore since this jagat continuously changes it is subject to change it is mutable therefore brahma also must be mutable if brahma is also mutable then brahma becomes savikari when it is sub- what can undergo change only that which has got avayava can undergo change therefore brahma must be having avayava if it has avayava therefore it must be parichinnam therefore apurnam all the limitations will walk in then it has it is subject to it is subject to time therefore it is it it comes and goes away it dies also all this problem will come when you equate when you equate this jagat with brahma but we equated shastra equates directly it equates so here what we do is that since they are samana adikaranam is there therefore the what samana adikaranam is bhada samana adikaranam or badhayam samana adikaranam here equated by negation equated by bada samana adikaranyam bada samana adikaranyam means that contradictory the contradictory attributes are contradictory attributes are dropped the contradictory attributes are dropped negated that's called bada is bada samana adikaranyam so when you when what you can negate you can negate that which is mithya you can negate only that which is mithya when mithya is negated don't throw away the baby with the bath water mithya mithya is negated but mithya has its ashraya in sat brahma so that cannot be negated so the mithya finally resolves into that brahma that cannot be negated that after negating that which remains that which cannot be negated that is brahma that is bada samana adikaranyam so here when we say idam jagat brahma purastad agre yat asti tat brahma it is bada samana adikaranyam it is bada samana adikaranyam you have to understand the samana adikaranyam here to be bada samana adikan madra ways what will happen this jagat which subject to change that becomes brahma then brahma becomes an object that also becomes another object subject to changes so therefore here since same vibhaktis are there idam as well as brahma we understand here the samana adikaranyam is bada samana adikaranyam it cannot be aikya samana adikaranyam it cannot be aikya samana adikaranyam it cannot be other samana adikaranyam visheshana samana adikaranyam or it cannot be or it cannot be or uh, the visheshana samana adikaranyam or aikya samana adikaranyam or it cannot be adhyas samana adikaranyam adhyasa it is 
in adhyasa in adhyasa also i have two types one is deliberately done adhyasa other one is by mistake adhyasa samanaadi karanam but adhyasa samanaadi karanam is different it is different from bada samanaadi karanam adhyasa we superimpose to see superimpose something on something that is adhyasa but here there is no superimposition when we say jagat is brahma we don't superimpose brahma and jagat please note we, if you superimpose then it that is your theory it is your proposition we don't superimpose we are we don't shastra doesn't ask you to superimpose brahma on jagat if you superimpose brahma on jagat then then jagat is not brahma therefore it is not adhyasa it is bada samanaadi karanyam jagat which is nama roopatmaka jagat the nama roopa if you remove what remains is brahma therefore bada samanaadi karanyam so that's a big difference between adhyasa samanaadi karanyam and bada samanaadi karanyam all these are technical things but simple example we can understand this so here this jagat is brahma when we say it is bada samanaadi karanyam soyam devadattaha is aikya samanaadi karanyam aham brahma asmi aham jeevaha is brahma eva paramatma eva aikya samanaadi karanyam it is aikyam jeeva brahma aikyam jeeveshwar aikyam mahavakyam tat tvam asi aikya samanaadi karanyam in that also tat tat is you tvam so the two words tat and tvam bhinna pravritti nimittanam bhinna pravritti nimittanam shabdanam samana vivaktikanam ekasmin vishaye tatparyah that is that is tat and tvam the word in if you take this mahavakya or soyam devadattah any word or idam jagat any sentence you can take the shabda pravritti the use the usage of the word shabda pravritti nimittanam the shabda pravritti the usage of the words as its nimitta you use tat you use tvam because you want to convey something therefore you use those words it has got nimitta it has got its karanam apple you see the object and the apple therefore the shabda pravritti you use it as the form is there a fruit is there and it has got a name apple the word is used apple indicating the apple orange shabda shabda pravritti is that apple as the object as the name app orange and therefore the word is used to convey what it means that is a pravritti shabda pravritti the words what you use what you use as its nimitta karanam you don't use some word which means something or which means nothing so every word has got the meaning corresponding meaning attached to it so therefore shabda pravritti you don't use any word which doesn't have any meaning or which doesn't not connected to any the any object and the words now when they are in samana vibhakti bhinna pravritti nimitta naam samana vibhakti ka naam and if they have tatparya in the same vishaya when they are denoting the same thing present the same thing then that is said to have samanaadi karanyam among the samanaadi karanyam the, the, the types are the different types of samanaadi karanyam there are types four types so in the four types this idam jagat brahma is bhada samanaadi karanyam so we need to understand when we say tatvam asi what samanaadi karanyam soyam devadattah what samanaadi karanyam 
blue lotus blue lily what saman adikaranyam and when we say idam jagat what saman adikaranyam so idam jagat is different from aham brahmasmi soyam devadattah the jagat which is subject to change really it, it is brahma it cannot be brahma how you say brahma it means this nama rupa is negated negating the negating which negating the jagat that which remains that remains unnegated unnegated that is unnegatable that is brahma so jagat minus nama rupa is what is brahma that is what idam jagat brahma therefore idam is equal to brahma that idam should be understood as minus nama rupa minus nama rupa what is left is brahma therefore bhada samanadi karanyam equating by negation so therefore ukta lakshanam brahma where is ukta lakshanam in all the previous mantra in all the previous mantra the brahma us lakshanam uktam purvam eva ukta lakshanam the compound uktani ar uktam lakshanam yasya brahmanah tasya brahma ukta lakshanam idam idam referring to this jagat etu purastat agre agre asti etu purastat idam is this purastat agre in front whatever may be that may be the object which is which appears abrahma iva pratyava pratyava bhasanam appearing as abrahma appearing as abrahma that is for whom avidya drishti na for the avid for avidya drishti referring to the people this is a bhagavad samasa avidya drishti na avidya drishti hi drishti hi is vision the seeing the perception avidya drishti hi esham te avidya drishtaya tesham avidya drishti na for them that is for the agnani sityartaha for the people who have who don't have the right vision who have the wrong vision avidya drishti bhranti drishti bhranti drishti na pratyava basanam abrahma iva idam jagat this jagat appearing as to the deluded people as abrahma pratyava basanam abrahma iva pratyava basanam they don't appear as brahma if they see it as brahma then become gnani so what appears as abrahma for the avidya drishti is that is deluded people and really speaking it is brahma alone it is brahma eva avidya drishti nam yat jagat idam jagat purastat agre abrahma eva pratyavasam idam jagat avidya drishti nam abrahma eva yat pratyava जगत अस्ति Asya tasya, asya tasya Brahma naha tad Brahma bhukta lakshanam Brahma. So for avid, this this ignorant people, they see it as a Brahma. For them, this jagat is not Brahma. This jagat is real. But for the there is a jnani, for as there is a one who has got vidya drishti, avidya drishti naam idam jagat a Brahma. Vidya drishti naam idam jagat. प्रत्येव भासनम इदम जगत ब्रह्म उक्त लक्षणम ब्रह्म दैट इज अ मीनिंग यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस अविद्या दृष्टि नाम प्रत्येव भासनम इदम जगत अब्रह्म अब्रह्म इव इट्स नॉट रियली अब्रह्म अब्रह्म इव एज दो अब्रह्म बिकॉज ऑफ अविद्या दृष्टि दे डोंट सी इट एज ब्रह्म व्हाट अबाउट द विद्या दृष्टि नाम विद्या दृष्टि नाम प्रत्येव भासनम इदम जगत उक्त लक्षण ब्रह्म बिकॉज दे आर विद्या दृष्टि दे हैव द दे हैव द परसेप्शन दे हैव द नॉलेज 
they have understood therefore they see it as brahma therefore brahma prastat agre similarly second line tata paschat brahma tata paschat paschat brahma paschat paschat means what is behind paschat api brahma eva here also we have to can bring in avidya drishtinam pratyabhasanam paschat pratyabhasanam abrahma is brahma for vidya drishti abrahma eva pratyabhasanam paschat pratyabhasanam idam jagat vidya drishtinam brahma eva brahma eva it can connect for all same thing for all the other words also tata dakshina dakshinatascha Similarly, on the right hand side or the south side, whatever it is, right side, south side. Tata uttarena. Tata uttarena. Similarly, on the left hand side or north side, tata iva adastad. Tata iva adastad. Urdhuncha. Urdhuncha. Sarvataha. अन्यत इव प्रसृत प्रगत नाम अवभाषन अदस्ता ब्रह्म सो अविद्या दृष्टीनाम यत जगत प्रत्यवासन यत जगत विद्या दृष्टीना अब्रह्म तत विद्या दृष्टीना उक्तलक्षण ब्रह्म अदस्ता प्रत्यवासन सिमरली ऊर्ध ऊर्ध प्रत्यवासन यत जगत अब्रह्म अविद्या दृष्टीना तत विद्या दृष्टीना ब्रह्म कनेक्ट फॉर ऑल बशकरास फॉर द फर्स्ट वन पुरस्ता चोइंग कॉन्ट्रास्ट ऑफ दि अविद्या दृष्टीना एंड विद्या दृष्टीना विद्या दृष्टीना सर्वत ब्रह्म सर्वत एवरीथिंग इज ब्रह्म अविद्या दृष्टीना इट इज अब्रह्म इव अवभासन प्रत्यवभासन एज ओ नाट ब्रह्म एज ओ डिफरेंट फ्रम ब्रह्म so what is below is brahma what is above is brahma and sarvataha prasrutam which is spread prasadam which is prasadam pragatam which is spread all over everywhere how karya akarena karya karena not karya karane karya karena kare akarena in the form of karya akara means akara means form karya is product so in the form of the karya the effect karanam is brahma in the form of karya anyat eva avabhasanam as to different anyat eva anyat eva na nama rupavat avabhasanam as to different from karanam this karya which is In the form of nama rupa, endowed with nama rupa, nama rupa vat, nama rupa vat, which appears to be endowed with nama rupa, nama rupa vat, abhasanam. What this jagat, anyat eva, all the way it is eva, eva, eva only, as though because it is not real. That is why avidya, avidya drishti nam abrahma eva. because it is eva therefore only in the wake of gnanam it goes away therefore that's for therefore only agnana means gnana virodhi if it is not eva then it becomes real why it is gnana because gnana virodhi therefore only eva appears as eva snake not that but you see the snake sarpah eva rajjau that sarpa gnanam goes away in the wake of rajjyanam so 
ಜ್ಞಾನಂ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಂ ಗೋಸವೆ ಲೈಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಗೋಸವೆ ಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿರೋಧಿ ಕೆನ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ವೇದಾಂತ ಸಾರ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಇವ ಸರ್ವತ ಅನ್ಯತ್ ಇವ ಅವಭಾಸನ ಆಸ್ ಟೋ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಆಕಾರ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇಂಡೋರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಾಮರೂಪ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಾಮರೂಪ ನಾಮರೂಪವತ್ ಅವಭಾಸನ ಇವ ಅವಭಾಸನ ಅಪಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ದೋ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇವ therefore that is brahma alone so this nama roopa prapancha which appears as to different from brahma is brahma eva only it is nama roopa therefore vacharambanam vikaro nama deyam prattika ityo satyam it is only vacharambanam iti okay we will stop here we will continue the next class next class we will complete this om pur namadav pur davidam ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಕ್ಷತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಗುರುಜಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಶರಣ್ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ